How are you doing today? This is Vincent again from NewbieWebDesign.com, the best free web design resources for anyone who wants to build a web page, especially beginners. And this is an overview of Web Page Maker Part 1. Now, Web Page Maker is a fun, easy to use, and a fast way to create your own web pages without web design experience or HTML knowledge. You can easily drag and drop images, text, music, videos, etc. into your layout and move them anywhere on your page. This is a true what you see is what you get web page editor. Now this is the year 2010 and times have changed. Now anyone can build their own web page without the help of others. I want to give you a quick overview of Web Page Maker and show you how easy you can build your own professional web page or a complete website. Now here's some of Web Page Maker's main features. Easy to use, easy to learn. What you see is what you get. Web Page Editor, no web design experience is required. Create a professional web page in minutes. Hundreds of functions such as a built-in sitemap creator, pre-designed web templates or you can import existing HTML pages, drag and drop images, pictures, text, etc. Use CSS style sheets. Your website will be compatible with all browsers and you get free upgrades. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this area here is your work window or workspace and here is where you will insert text images shapes etc and what you put in here is what people will see on your web page now this is your toolbar and the toolbar contains buttons for inserting various types of ob objects such as text images navigational bars, shapes, you can change colors, add hyperlinks, preview your pages as you work on them, or when you're done upload one or all of your pages to your website. Or if you prefer you can go to insert and in the drop down menu add text, images, shape, navigational bars, tables, flash movies, etc. into your workspace or work window. Now this here is a site panel which enables you to manage your pages on your site. To show or hide this panel here you press F8 on your keyboard but because of this recording I can't show that to you. Now the first page of any website is called the index and when you open up Web Page Maker, it automatically creates your first page or your index. And that's what's highlighted here and shows you that you, here you are working on your index. Now, if we click here, we can add a new page and it shows you that we're working on page 2 so now anything that we would insert into our work window such as an image or text would be in, on page 2 or we could go to page add new page and now we have page 3 we can right click on page 3 rename that page and we're going to rename it to 3 and now the title of our page is 3. Now we can take and move that page up or we can move it down. We can import HTML from another web page into 3 or if we were on index we could go ahead and import HTML code into the index or go to File, Import HTML page into the index. Okay, we also, as, as an example, we're working on page 3. We could clone page 3. So that's a clone of page 3. Or we can do, delete the clone. 
remove selected page, clicking here. We can delete page 3 by right clicking on it and remove the page. Or on page 2 here we could go to edit or page and remove page and now we're back to the index. Now the elements here would show us if we click here you can see this pink area around here and we can highlight any images uh, text or whatever uh, that we have in our work window and you can tell it's highlighted by the pink around the, the uh, text. Now what I like to do when I first start is go to edit, <clears throat> show grid. I like to have a grid. It makes it easier for me to align text and images where I want them. And I right click on the work area, go to properties, appearance, Align, Center, which aligns the page in your browser window so all your pages will be centered when people see them on the web. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, add some images. One thing that I could do is I could take and drag an image from my computer into the work window. Or I can go to image, and click on an image. I can resize the image. Again, see the pink around here, which means this is selected. I could resize this, move it to wherever I want. Or let's add some text. And all I would do is type in this is my new web page and I can select it, change the font style, bold it, change the color of the text, the size of the text, I can center it and do a lot of other things. Let's hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead. This is the text is selected. I'm going to stretch it out so all my text is on one line. And let's kind of move these around a little bit here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and select them all. You can see they're all pink and I'm going to hit a range, a line, horizontally I want everything centered, hit OK and I want to preview it in the browser. And now you can see that everything is aligned to the center and my page is centered when people are looking at it on the web. Okay, the last thing I want to do is show you this real quick is we can select or highlight this is my new web page and we can right click on that and delete it. We can select or highlight this image and edit and go to delete or I can highlight it, select that image and just hit delete on my keyboard and it's removed. Well that's it for part one. Uh, I hope that helped you out a little bit. Uh, thank you for watching.